East Wichita Home Tours, what we're going to give you a walkthrough of today. But before we get into all that, like, comment, subscribe, share. All that fun stuff really helps grow the channel. And I'm going to restart this and go outside because it's a little windy and cold out here today. It's Wichita and it's January of 2024. And it's about 20-ish degrees out here to give me an idea. But we'll go ahead and flip this around outside and we'll go from there. See you in a sec. All right, so here's the front of the home at 8300 East Brook Hollow on the east side of Wichita. It's in the Brook Hollow subdivision, which is a pretty nice uh, subdivision around here. This house was built in 1972. And this will give you an idea of the street sizes, the mature trees, and kind of what some of the other houses are like in the neighborhood. Just to give you a feel of what a an East Wichita neighborhood is like. Uh, but let's go ahead and go inside. So this is a four bedroom, three bath, two car garage home. And it is 2,700 square feet. Something like this goes for anywhere from 350 to $450,000 in Wichita. And it does have a pool in the back, which I'll show you in a sec. So it's got this cool little brick courtyard area to start out. There's your front door entrance. And then you can access the garage over to the right too. That gives you an idea of the front approach and walk up. And this house is a quad level home and has been pretty well updated and remodeled in my opinion. But right when you walk in, you have your coat closet to the left. You go up to all the bedrooms um, with the stairwell there. You have an open concept kitchen with new granite, new cabinets, new stainless steel appliances. You have kind of your front formal living room sitting area. If you wanted to turn that area into a dining space, you could. You have kind of a coffee bar, extra cabinet space situation going on there. Brand new stainless steel, never been used fridge. Nice big tall cabinets that all have soft close hinges. So you can bang them around, slam them around and not really have a bunch of noise going on. Um, stainless steel cooktop, microwave space hidden there underneath the countertop. One thing we will be putting in this house is a mat hood. You know, if the buyer that I'm working with gets this house, that's one thing they looked at is they're probably gonna switch that stove out for a gas stove instead of electric and put a bit hood in instead. But like I said, upstairs to the bedrooms, downstairs to another living room and another additional uh, bedroom down there. But we got good elevation and good drainage away from the foundation and a large pool back here give you an idea of yard size, how close you are to your neighbors, what you have going on there. Don't have a lot of trees close to the foundation to get in and cause problems there, so that's a good sign. You have a lot of brick on the north side of the home. So that's the back side of the home. So this will give you kind of an idea if you're looking to relocate to work to Wichita and work with us. We can do these video walkthroughs to not just evaluate the pretty pictures they have online, but actually see what this, all the entire space is like, especially like the garage and some of the basement storage areas. They don't always show you in the pictures that don't look as nice. So definitely doing a thorough evaluation of the whole thing. Uh, decent sized garage space. You have a sprinkler system that comes with this one. There's all the pool equipment. You have attic, attic access up that way if you want to have more space for the room. Then you also have an exit out to the rest of the yard there. So that's the garage. That's your kitchen and first floor living room space. We'll go upstairs and check out the bedrooms first, and then we'll go downstairs. So right when you walk up the stairway so you have your first bath first full bath to the left you have your primary uh, bedroom in the back there and then you have your two additional bedrooms on the right side here so the two bedrooms over here would be using this uh, hall bath it has new grand countertops new flooring it's all been painted fixtures been updated as far as lights and plumbing fixtures go but you do have a tub on this one for washing the kiddos and having them clean up do all their business there and then you have a kind of hall closet here, linen closet, and then pretty good sized bedrooms on this one. These kind of look like they're 12 by 13-ish. 
I have to check the exact measurements. And they're kind of some older wood windows, but they do operate well. We were checking them all earlier, make sure there's no rot in the window sill. So even though they're wood, doesn't mean it's necessarily the end of the world, but they're terrible. Because they're all in good working shape. So there's your additional second full bedroom. And then we'll go into the third bedroom upstairs, which is the master. A pretty good size there to fit everything. Little big windows for letting in natural light. And then you have your master bath with walk-in closet, double vanity, granite countertops, and a cool shower. So that gives you an idea of the space for the vanity. And then master shower with the massive tiles that they put in here. All been recently retiled, remodeled, redone, all new glass fixtures, um, brushed brass finishes. Nice modern sleek designs. And it gives you an idea of the closet space. So that's the upstairs. Let's go check out the downstairs. So you have three bedrooms, two full bath upstairs. And then you have another full bedroom and full bath downstairs where your laundry room is at too walk in and kind of this living room den space. There's another door to get to the exterior. And then that would be your additional full bedroom. And then you also have the laundry space over here with the stackable unit and all the appliances do stay on this home. And then that's to your downstairs area where the guy we're working with is looking at putting his 3D printer business down there. Another full bedroom space. Updated vanity, fixtures, top everything, flooring, new Onyx style remodeled shower put in here. With modern brass finishes too. And then that's your laundry space. And we'll go check out the downstairs. Pretty good size basement area with daylight windows, not full egress windows. And then your storage area too. But usually we're gonna be checking for cracks in the foundation, moving walls, all that kind of thing. Make sure it's not too creepy of a basement. <laughs> Hot water heater is was replaced in 2019, so it's about four years old. Um, furnace, not quite sure the age of it. But that's where the inspector would come through, test everything. You know, it's functioning, it's working. Also, we have a sump pump here that kicks out all the water of the house. If you're not from Kansas, those are vital for here to get the water out of the basement. You know, if there is any of the around the area. And then, uh, so yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and go do one more walkthrough upstairs. And then we'll end this thing. But this gives you a pretty good idea of what a typical East Wichita home is like, depending on the neighborhood, the subdivision. You know, this one goes for anywhere from 350 to 450, like I was mentioning, and it's 2807 total square feet. And it is a quad level, which we're starting to see those kind of homes be more popular to have separation and everything. And they're not as uh, detrimental because as you can see, there's still a good amount of open space in this one. So, so that concludes our East Wichita home tour. If this is something you'd like to do virtually for checking out a house here in Wichita, um, you can also check out some of my other videos to get an idea of what it's like to live here, what the houses are like here. Um, follow the links below. There's plenty of uh, criteria to help you get a hold of me, links, ways to message me, reach out on your timeline, however it works for you. But hopefully this is helpful for you in exploring your decision around Wichita and living here and houses that go with it. You know, I'd love to talk with you if you're uh, looking to get more personalized service, in-depth details of these things, you know, go ahead and follow the links below, check out my website, look at houses, shoot me a message, wherever I can be of help, just let me know, and we'll go from there. Well, hopefully we'll talk with you soon. See ya.